there's two simchas that I'm, I'm, I'm announcing because they're part of the uh, WhatsApp special group. But please don't comment, I'll only do it personally. There's one bris that Yaniv Jamil is one of my very close Tamidim, he's making a bris this morning, so it's a big mazel tov to him. And secondly is Julian Glatt, he's also making a bris on Monday, and, um, and the Oilam is, uh, now knows about the brisos. So one is in Avas Yitzchak, that's today, it's in 73 Porsche, and the other one is where Rabbi Wilner's shul. Now, Special, special to have a bris, especially this month. This month itself of Rosh Chodesh Nisan, there's a sefer, I have to thank the Rabbi Ranberg, actually, he showed me the sefer, pointed this out. You want to understand the different times of the year, there's a sefer called Kava Yosha. It's very much Api Chasidus, Api Kabbalah. So he discusses the power of Rosh Chodesh Nisan. Rosh Chodesh Nisan, which we began yesterday, as in Halacha, you see, it's quite simple, very straightforward. You don't say Tachlun, one of the big celebrations. You don't say, with Tachlun, you don't say the Yeratzons. Some even don't say Lam Natseach, which usually is something you still do say, even if you don't say Tachlun. And Ela Chapaim, when you take out the Sefer Ter. Why is that? So already the Mishnah alludes to this, that the twelve, the first 12 days are the 12 days of the Nesim, of the Chanukah Samizbeach, and because of that, it's called Kaddish. And because most of the month, month ends up being Kaddish, because of course you have the days of Pesach, Yotza Kulay B'Kedusha. But I want to tell you how deep this concept of how, how holy this month is. First of all, each day of the first 12 days corresponds to a different month. So they, like yesterday, Rosh Chodesh Nisan, responds to the entire month of Nisan. The Shla Kaddish says, that Rosh Chodesh Yehu Lachem, Lachem is Ois Yos Melech, and Rosh Chodeshim is because it's the entire month of Nisan is like Rosh Chodesh. That's how he touches it into the word. He says, what happens during this month? This month, you know, you walk out, at least in, in, Amer in America it's not necessarily so true, but in Israel, you start hearing the birds chirping. Nate is early, it's beautiful. The chirping of birds, api Kabbalah, is a fascinating concept. The month of Nisan is like the month of Tishrei, it says in Kabbalah. It's a man of tshuva, but there's a major difference. The month of Nisan is Kulay Rachamim. The month of Tishrei has a little bit of Midas Adin. What happens during the month of Nisan and the month of Tishrei is that the Neshamas of Tzadikim have, are granted permission to hang out by the walls of Gan Eden and to daven for us, to daven for the people on earth. But there's a difference. When it comes to Tishrei, it says, we have to do something in return. We, they do a chesed for us, they daven for us. We have to daven for them too. So in the month of Tishrei, people are busy going to the Kivrei Tzadikim and the Kvores and the davening. But in the month of Nisan, it's brought that you're not really no. supposed to go to a Beis Kvores. So how do we do something in return for them? So this is actually what the Shlach Kodesh introduced. And that's why there's many minhagim, we learned this together. The reading of the Nesim is something so powerful, because every day there's a tefillah that the Shla Kodesh, I think it's a Kavi Yosha who wrote this tefillah, that a person, after you read the psukim for that Nasi, so you open the Pashas Nasi, some actually take out a Sefer Torah, some say you shouldn't. So the most people have the minute because you just read from a Chumash, it's Kedai. And then you say a tefillah, if I'm from that Shevet, then I want that Shevet, I want the Ashpaz, a, to come from that Shevet on me, and I should be Mashpia, my tefillah should be Mashpia on that Shevet. You try to connect yourself to that Shevet. But what we could do in return is we da is the Kriya is in return for the tefillahs that the Tzadikim daven on our behalf. And the Tzipoyrim, the birds, yes, of course it's birds, but it's brought down that the Tzadikim's Neshamas and Mislavish get clothed in birds. And the chirping is really the tefillahs. And that's why this time is such a mesugalik a time for tshuva, to fix oneself, to look inside, to figure out exactly what we could fix. And Yerotam should be zeichel, that this month should be a beautiful month and should be a Nisan, Nigolub, Nisan, Sidon, Nisan. Thank you.